When you think of all-inclusive resorts, you probably imagine beachfront hotels in Mexico and the Caribbean. But did you know that all-inclusive resorts exist within the United States as well? Mohonk Mountain House is a beautiful lakefront property in the Hudson Valley region of New York State, where meals and activities are included in your rate. In this video, I'll cover the accommodations, the outdoor activities, the spa, the dining, and of course, I'll cover the resort's COVID safety protocols, so keep watching. Thanks to Ulster County Tourism Board for sponsoring this video. Hey, welcome back to Top Flight Family. My name is Carmen Signovi, and I'm so excited to tell you all about our stay at Mohonk Mountain House. Mohonk Mountain House is located in New Paltz, which is about a two hour drive from New York City. The drive was scenic even in September, but I'm sure that if you visited a little later in the season than we did, you'd get to travel through some really beautiful fall foliage. Mohonk Mountain House has been around since the late 1800s, and you can definitely get a feel for all the history at this resort. The lobby even has a framed hotel sign-in sheet from 1892. We stayed in a cozy two-bedroom lake-facing suite. We had one room with a twin bed, one room with a double bed, a living area with a pull-out sofa, and a full bathroom. Our terrace had beautiful views of the lake. But of course, you come to Mohonk Mountain House not to stay indoors, but to enjoy the great outdoors. One thing I really appreciate about this property is that they offer a number of guided outdoor experiences each day. This means that even if, like us, you're not super outdoorsy, you can still enjoy getting out into nature without worrying about things going wrong, since you'll have an experienced guide who'll be there with you every step of the way. The resort has a daily schedule of organized activities that you can participate in that are included with your stay. There are also a number of activities you can pay an additional fee for, such as carriage rides, guided horseback rides, and pony rides for kids. On the lake there are rowboats, kayaks, and pedal boats. You can use these as many times as you want during your stay. Most evenings there are campfires with live music so that you can roast s'mores after dinner. Our favorite activity was archery and tomahawk throwing. Mohonk Mountain House has an archery range where you can do both activities. We started with a family archery class and our instructor was fantastic. He made it really easy to learn and the girls were getting bullseyes in no time at all. Hey, <laughs> he was also very knowledgeable about the history of archery. Did you know, for example, that every culture in the world has a bow and arrow weapon system? And that the earliest evidence of archery dates all the way back to 10,000 BC? It's fascinating to think about how long archery has been a part of the human experience. Tomahawk throwing is for adults only, so Serge and I gave it a try. I was pretty nervous about doing this, but once we got started, it wasn't as scary or hard as it seemed. It was actually really fun. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We took a tour with the property's naturalist to learn how to track animals. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film this experience, but if it's something you're interested in, Mohonk Mountain House offers both daytime and nighttime tracking tours. Okay, so we were not allowed to film the naturalist, so instead we've lined up um, two world-renowned experts who will teach us about mushrooms. Yes. Just a moment. Oh, hello, naturalist uh, Sean. Yeah. Tell us, yeah, what's yeah. the difference between mushrooms and fungi? The mushrooms have these little lines, mm -hmm. and, your, and fungi don't. We also went on a guided hike, which we enjoyed a lot. There are a variety of hikes at different intensity levels, so depending on your experience level and mobility, you can choose a level that suits you best. Okay, so for you guys who watched our Oahu travel vlog, you'll know that the girls did not enjoy hiking. Right they now, they're hiking, they don't even realize it. it. It's been over an hour already and they're just going crazy, looking at mushrooms and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. They don't realize it. it's a secret hike. Watching how much our girls relished getting into nature reminded me of a conversation we had with someone at the resort who was complaining about how kids are all addicted to their devices these days. Now, our girls definitely get a lot of screen time, but I think it's a misnomer to assume that just because kids like screens means that they also will hate being in nature. To the contrary, seeing how quickly Sean and Ellis switched into nature mode made me realize that enjoying screens and enjoying the outdoors are not mutually exclusive. We are making a fairy door. This is the path, how then they go all the way up here uh -huh. until they go over here. Uh -huh. And this is their acorn thingy, and they go in, and this is the doormat. 
kids are more complex and multi-layered than adults often give them credit for. Just like us, they have the ability to appreciate lots of different things. So at this point in the video, you may have noticed that um, Sean and Ella's braids are a little fuzzier than normal. Excuse me? <laughs> that is because we've been traveling so much that we haven't had time to do the full usual braids. So we went straight from one trip to this one. This hairstyle has withstood a f quite a few days of daily swimming in the Bahamas. So yeah, they're not as snatched as laid as usual. Also, I'm doing this because there's bugs. If you're interested in seeing the views from the highest points of the property, but you're not comfortable hiking that far, a great option is to take a carriage ride or guided horseback tour. The highest point has really cool views, including being able to see Sky Top Tower, which is a monument built on top of one of the highest hills to commemorate the founder of Mohonk Mountain House, Albert Smiley. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we're the Sinyovi family and we live in New York City. There's me, Carmen, my husband Serge, and our daughters, Sean and Ella. We work full-time as travel creators and we're all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Our family has set a goal of visiting 21 resorts in 2021, and Mohonk Mountain House is the 18th one we've visited so far. Why resorts? Well, we actually have a whole video that explains that, which I'll link below. I'll also link to our 21 resorts in 2021 playlist, so you can check out all the other properties we'll be visiting. If you stay at Mohonk Mountain House, I highly recommend paying a visit to the spa. The spa blends in perfectly with the rest of the resort's classic lake lodge feel, with big windows overlooking the trees and nature. There are separate men's and women's relaxation areas, as well as a couple's relaxation area with a huge fireplace. The steam room and sauna were closed when we visited due to COVID, but the spa also has a really nice outdoor heated mineral pool that is available. Serge and I each had a massage in separate rooms. Due to COVID, couples massages can't take place in the same room right now, but we reunited after the treatment in the couples relaxation lounge. If you're looking for other indoor activities, be sure to check out the indoor heated pool. The girls had a lot of fun swimming here. The property also has a small game room with air hockey, table tennis, foosball, and shuffleboard. What's with the disapproving look? You know how we hate hiking? No. Oh, the cliff of Hawaii? No. <laughs> yeah, well, mommy and daddy tricked us into hiking every single day, like twice a day. I don't know what you're talking about. This is it's a nature real. walk. No, this is a hike. We've been going uphill and downhill for like an hour. This is a hike. It's just a walk. It's a oh, hike. Okay. A walk is straight. This is like this. This is a hike. Look at the views. Not this not a walk. You don't just walk to see those views. Okay, let's talk about dining at Mohonk Mountain House. One thing that's a bit different about this property is that there aren't separate restaurants. You take all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the main dining room. There are beautiful views in the dining room and it feels very open and airy. The food is excellent, all very gourmet. For breakfast, I highly recommend the pastry basket with muffins, banana bread, and pan au chocolat. Everything was so fresh and delicious. The Mohonk Mountain House signature lobster omelet is very decadent, so definitely try that for the experience. For some healthier options, the quinoa bowl and avocado toast were both very good. Breakfast and lunch have mostly the same menu every day, but dinner rotates between four different menus. One thing that's fun is that both lunch and dinner are three course meals. This means that you get to have dessert, not just with dinner, but with lunch too. For dinner, Serge and I really enjoyed the French onion soup, while the girls loved the lobster mac and cheese. But the best dinner entree by far was the house Jamelli bolognese. It was so hearty, but also had such rich, complex flavors. I ordered this entree multiple times. That's how good it was. Alcoholic drinks are not included, but there is an extensive wine list, and you can have wine by the glass, or half bottle, or by the full bottle. The house cocktails were also really good. Our favorites were the house tartini and the honey bear. Yeah, that's really aesthetic, hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about COVID safety at Mohonk Mountain House. Most of your time is spent outdoors here, so that factor alone makes this a great choice in terms of reducing exposure. 
Also, the resort is very strict about wearing masks indoors. All the staff and guests were very much on board with COVID safety, so mask adherence was high, which was great. And of course, there was ample hand sanitizer throughout the resort. Pricing for this resort can vary a lot depending on what type of accommodations you're booking, how many people there are in your party, and what time of year you're going. So I always recommend that you start your planning process by going directly to the resort's website and plugging in some dates to see what the price ranges are looking like. You can either book directly with the property, or if there's a travel advisor or travel agent you already work with, they can help too. Okay, that was resort number 18 of the 21 resorts we're visiting in 2021. If you'd like to check out resort number 19, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. And follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.